Look at that. That is G.I. Joe to a T. Are you all right? Duke, it's about time you guys showed up. A girl gets tired hanging around the house. Later, sister. We've got a war to win. I was going to bring flowers. Hello, Wolfpack, and welcome to the Art Theft. Now, this is a totally free game on Steam, and it is incredibly unique because this game is a visual Mad Libs in virtual reality. You are required to draw several different items in this game, and then the game will use your drawings as a part of the ongoing story. I'm really excited this won't be very long, and I am a terrible artist. So it should be interesting. Let's do it. Hold trigger to paint. All right. Oh, look at me. I'm so happy. Oh, this is great. This is great. Okay. Uh, point to interact. Sure. Oh, shit. We are going. Draw a self portrait. Uh, okay. We need to make like a gray for my skin. Okay. Let's get some nice ears here. That's perfect. Okay, and we're gonna draw downwards into like some sort of snout. Interesting brush strokes here. They're like leaves. Uh, okay, we need to go dark from my, my nose down there. Okay, let's get our headset, shall we? Get that right color. Okay, so you know, we got the nice W shape. Come in, come up top. Boom, that's beautiful. Let's uh, fill that in with like a bit of darker color. Uh, red for the ends of the headset. And that's beautiful. Wow. I mean, it looks just like me. Draw something you can hold. Guys, I'm not going to draw a penis. As much as it is tempting me, I am not going to draw a penis. Okay, I am going to draw a lollipop. You can absolutely... Hold a big lollipop. <laughs> Jesus. The hand is actually really well drawn. I'm impressed. Uh, okay, okay. Lollipop, lollipop. Gonna be big and red. Look at that thing. Okay, we're gonna fill that in nice and simple. Okay, remember this is 3D, so you gotta make it look good. We obviously need a white swirl going all the way through that. Just gonna come right on it. Ooh, yeah. That looks... So beautiful, a nice peppermint lollipop. Uh, maybe make the stick a little bit darker than the swirl. You know, give it some texture. That is that is something. Draw a masterpiece. All right, everything I've already drawn is a masterpiece, but watch and learn, everyone. Okay, let's get a nice blue sky. Big, beautiful blue sky. Gorgeous, okay, let's get some grass on the ground here. A lush, rolling countryside. I'm, I could stop here, but I'm not done because we're going to draw a beautiful chestnut mare just standing in this field all by herself. Not a care in the world. Just a beautiful horse. Okay, let's get a horse head going here. You know, it goes out. Okay, we need a darker brown for like the mane parts and it's got a nice tail. And it's just, you know, it's standing, fill that in. It's standing in the sun on this beautiful day. There it is. Got some rays coming out. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> Draw something you can eat. Uh, okay, I literally just had a hot dog for dinner tonight. Uh, and that is really all I ate. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Okay, let's draw a hot dog. So we really got to get... The fine details. It's a very curvy bun. Very curvy bun that really goes up. That's fine. Okay, we're going to get a nice Frank's Red Hot just right in there. I mean, that actually kind of looks like a hot dog. We're going to make this Chicago style. So we're going to get some relish on the top, and then we're going to top that with some mustard. Mmm, and we're going to get a big tomato we're going to have a couple of little tomates 
uh, a big pickle. So we got to get a, like a darker green for a pickle slice, which looks like a pepper right there. And then, you know, we got to top it with some onions. Okay, well, that's my fountain now. Draw a fountain. Yes, I love fountains. Let's draw one. Okay, it's going to... You know, it's just going to come blasting out of there like any good fountain does. The stunning work of art. Everyone is just applauding me at home for the depth and the immersion. You're like, wow, I feel like I'm looking at a real fountain. And you know what? We're going to top it uh, with some froth, you know, because every good fountain, the water gets a little white as it comes down. So you got to look realistic for whatever. How are they going to use a fountain? I have no idea how they're going to use a fountain, but that, that, look at that. That is stunning. What else can we add to it in 10 seconds? Maybe like a little bit of blood. There's a little bit of blood coming out of the bottom because something sinister happened below the fountain. Draw a thingamajig. What is a thingamajig? What is, so it can be anything. Okay, well, when I think of a thingamajig, I clearly think of uh, an action figure, you know, like a G.I. Joe. <laughs> So we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw G.I. Joe here. That's his sturdy legs and his box of a body. Okay, and we gotta get his arms coming out. Perfect, perfect G.I. Joe. He's got a, he's got a head. He does, and he's got boots. So we gotta give him some black boots. Those are very brown, very brown. We're gonna make him a little more black. Perfect, okay, he's gonna have a beret on. Per oh, it looks like, look, I already gave him a nose and I didn't even mean to. Uh, black because we got to give him his G.I. Joe eyes and his classic G.I. Joe <laughs> smile with I don't know what's happening. Okay hands Look at that. That is G.I. Joe to a T little symbol on his chest Perfect Here we go Gather round now. I'd like to bend your ear. I got a quick tale of greed and fine art over here Ooh. Whoa. On the outskirts of town, over in a greasy spit, sat a rotten, <laughs> scheming pair. The bandit they called Wesley Wolf, and his partner, Butch the Bear. You guys are roasting See, my hot dog. Butch had a scheme, and it involved stealing another man's pretty painting. The Ooh. painting was high up on the hill over an old man Maple's house. But Wesley Wolf, he didn't need persuading. <laughs> Ugh, this food is awful. Bear laughed. <laughs> it's all burnt. Yeah, it, it's a mess, Wesley Wolf replied. Hey. But it's all we got. I wish you weren't. That's hey, my now, mess. I sure don't know reading, but this paper says there's a patent ready to be stolen. Says it was just bought by an old man for a million gold. Holy shit. That is a lot of gold. All right, let me just check you guys out because the art here is actually incredible. I love my hot dog being roasted on a spit. You guys, that's not how you do a Chicago-style hot dog, okay? It's there. It's ready to eat. It's delicious. With oh, a foul shit. meal in their bellies, <laughs> greed in their heart, supplies by their side, the scoundrels just couldn't wait. But first, they had to get past the massive front gate. It's a big gate. Now, you need to understand something about these two. Okay. Wesley was running from his debts in sure. Bush. He didn't have a lick of sense. Couldn't even tie his shoe. Butch. Ugh, dang gummit, Wesley, you brought too much stuff. Old Butch started <laughs> to complain. What is this stuff anyway? It's a G.I. Joe. with disdain. Hey. Butch, it's just trinkets and some stuff. Oh, what's the matter anyway? Just get over this fence and I'll show you it someday. Yeah, Butch. Oh, God, I feel so bad for Wesley. How are you going to shove an entire bear over that fence? I wonder if I should warn the people in there. These two good-for-nothing folk here coming to steal their very nice painting. And they're armed. Armed with G.I. Joe. Incredibly drawn G.I. Joe, might I add. Stunning work. With Ooh. unearned confidence, the bumbling <laughs> pair went up to the house, carefree and tall. Old man Maple was sitting in his big old chair with his painting hung up on the wall. It's a beautiful Wesley painting. Wesley was struck with a sense of awe by the immaculate painting, his palms sweaty with anticipation. But Butch, <laughs> well, he was just having trouble with his concentration. Butch, I can see it. It's on the wall. What is this? Some sort of basketball? 
Jeez, a bottle of alcohol? Never mind that. When we get in there, Butch, you fetch the painting, and I'll just tie him to his chair. How do you think that's a basketball? I can kind of get maybe it's a bottle of alcohol. It is shaped a little bit more like that, but it is very bouncy. You know what, Butch? You might be right. This is so cool. Look at my beautiful painting. You know, I'm so glad he hung that over his fireplace. Anytime he goes in to watch TV or read a book, he gets to see my beloved... Kind of looks like a two-headed horse from here. But it's a great painting and it just... It basks the room in happiness. I totally understand why you guys want to steal it. That painting really is a masterpiece. Without oh. fright and without oh, no. a fight, the old man was bound to the chair. Curiously content and free of worry, still as the stale air. Hasty as it was, the heist was going to plan. They had the painting, but it misjudged one thing. That old man. Oh no. Now, now you see here, I've got you tied down. Don't want no trouble, just want to sell that painting around town. Hey old man, where'd you get this thing anyway? Down at the honey bucket? <laughs> Why is it worth so much? Is it made by one of those fancy mans in fancy Nantucket? Oh, Darn right. such an unfortunate situation you have found yourself in. See, trouble is what I've prepared for you. So let's begin. Wait. Wait, what? Okay, let's get this scene straight here. First off, it's so much better up close. Like... I would hang that up. I should put that on my merch store and sell it for a thousand dollars because I know all of you would want to buy it. That is beautiful. And I love that he is threatening this old man goat with a lollipop. I mean, honestly, that thing is huge and could probably cause severe brain damage. Then again, he is a ram. So, you know, the whole head hitting thing may be not effective. Go for the crotch. I am a bit worried, though that apparently he was ready for these two to come in and steal the painting. So there might be a trap in our future. Oh. Ah! What the hell? The lights. Butchie, help me! Oh, hey, oh, oh, oh. Butch, they got me by the arms! What the hell? With a sinister laugh. Oh my flash god! Black, the thieves' foolproof plan had fallen apart. No hope. Oh. No turning. What the fuck? You see, old man Maple. Shut your mouth, narrator. It's my turn to talk. Oh my I god. I heard these fools here on purpose. They are the ones I stalk. Just like the dozen times before, I knew some greedy thieves would see it in the newspaper. And like always, these morons come up with a brilliant caper. I'm in desperate need to finish my masterpiece, and this may seem insane, but you see, the paint I need flows through your veins. Holy shit! Holy shit, this took such a turn! We are officially in hell. There are tentacles coming up through the ground, demon skulls. And just blood. Oh, that is just so creepy. That demonic skull. Where's the bear? I don't even see the bear anymore. And there's my fountain. Look at that beautiful piece. Oh, that's that's the bear right there. He's being held in a demonic hand. And there is just blood shooting out of his stomach. What is this? I thought this was going to be something just comedic. And haha, -ha, look, I drew fountains. And now there's blood shooting out of his stomach. This got so dark. This is so cool, though. The goat swirling with fire. Oh. Oh. That's me. Um, hello? Am I, uh, allowed to talk now? I guess I'll just wrap this up. Uh, wow. Uh, I'm not sure this tale has a moral. About what was coming, those lads. Maybe just, uh, you know, uh, I, uh, Narrator? Uh, Narrator? Uh, that is a masterpiece. That was so good! Oh my god!
I enjoyed that. There was, that was really clever. Like, I love having it start and it's very Mad Libs and things are going to be funny. And then there's a twist and it's dark and demonic and people are dying and blood is shooting out of them. And that's blood that you drew, friend. That was fun. That is a really short experience, but it is totally free on Steam. Link is always in the description. Thank you guys for checking this out. I had actually planned on doing a longer video today. Uh, me and Frog were going to play We Were Here in VR, but it actually no longer supports VR. Uh, so I think we still might play through it in flat screen uh, just because it looks like a lot of fun and we were really gearing up for it and then we just couldn't and we couldn't really find a replacement in time. So we might get to that in the future, but this was a great little detour. I had so much fun. Guys, check it out. Really funny. Show your friends. They will not be prepared. Till next time, Wolfpack. We'll